quizzes desire to learn 10.1 after logging into desire to learn first select a course first let's take a look at information on the quizzes page the name of the quizzes are on the left. Information about the quiz is on the right. In this case, I have not taken the quiz and I may take it as many times as I like. For this quiz, I have not taken it. I have one attempt. For this quiz, I have not taken it. I have two attempts. Check with your instructor on which attempt generates the grade. I'll choose the practice test or quiz for this class. There should be a description of the test to look over, information about the quiz, and it's always important to check to see if it is a timed quiz and when you may take the quiz. Again, they repeat information on the number of attempts. Look over the introduction, which tells you what the test covers, and check for any instructions that might be specific to this test or quiz. After you have reviewed all the information, click Start Quiz. Notice the quiz does not start immediately. You can't accidentally start a quiz. Confirm that you wish to start the quiz. You'll notice in the left hand window an overview of the quiz. This particular quiz has two pages and a total of six questions. The legend lets you know what the symbols in the left hand window are. On the right side, this is not a real quiz, so it's just something to get you acquainted with taking a quiz or a test and desire to learn. I'll click this one. Notice you can only choose one answer if it's a multiple choice. When you're finished, please click save. This way if the computer shuts down or if there's a power failure when you restart the quiz that question has not been forgotten. Notice the icon here and the icon here have changed. There's only one question on this page one so I will now go on to the next page. Please be careful not to submit the quiz early. Next page. Now I'm on page two. Question number two is another multiple choice, but I'm going to miss this one so you can see what it looks like after you finish the question if you have missed one. I will save that answer. Question number three is a true false. Looks like taking the test and desire to learn is pretty easy, isn't it? I think so, so I will choose true and save my quiz. Many of your instructors will give you fill in the blank or matching questions. This is a matching question. The color of the sky is blue. So I put a number one next to blue to match those up. The color of the sun is yellow, so that gets a number two. The color of grass is green, that gets number three. Notice I have more possibles than I have selections. So check to see if all answers are to be used or if some answers are to be used multiple times. Question number five. I like fill in the blank and short essays. So here's an example of a fill in the blank. The question winds up 
What color is a traffic light when you need to stop? The answer is red. Please make sure you use the spell check if it's a, a fairly long word. And understand you may be counted off for spelling, but many of your instructors will check back to verify the answer you gave to see if it is acceptable. Question number six is an example of an essay question. You see the larger box. I'm not going to actually type in anything. I'll just put in some gibberish. The point is the computer cannot grade an essay test. Now you'll notice that I have been forgetting to save some answers. So now that I have completed the quiz, I could click back here to double check these that I have not saved, or I could save all responses. Please, it's much better to save the answers as you go. I have finished the test, so now I'm going to go to Submit Quiz. If I had skipped a question, completely skipped a question, it would be listed here. I have not skipped one. I will click Submit Quiz. Notice, I still have not submitted the quiz. You cannot accidentally submit the quiz before you're finished. Yes, submit the quiz. Now, depending on your class, you may be able to see the test when you finish completing it. I'll scroll down and notice a green check mark means I got that one right and I got one out of one points. Remember I missed number two? Sometimes I'll get a green check telling me which one I should have chosen. Otherwise, I'll need to look up the answer to figure out what I did wrong. I did not get a point here. I got the true false correct. I got the matching correct. I got the fill in the blank correct. But remember what I said about the essay question. The computer cannot grade an essay. Down at the bottom is my score. Remember though, I'm going to get full points for that essay. So my score right now is not correct until the instructor has reviewed the test. I will close this. To review this test later, you may click Quizzes, select the quiz, notice I have taken it one time now, select the quiz or test, up at the top is an arrow, arrows mean more options. I will choose Submissions, and from here I can review test number one.